so you forgot your login credentials all right um no worries you are watching the right video make sure to subscribe because this video really works i will show you how you can get inside your computer even if you forget your password there are in fact many ways to fix forgotten admin password but today I will show you the easiest way that I use but before we start we need few things one a flash drive two Ruvo software and three irons irons boot CD that's a software so your computer is not accessible that means you are watching this video from another computer or device in this video I'm showing you how you can bypass your administrator's login credentials with another PC. If you're watching this video on your phone, you can still fix the issue by watching how to create a bootable drive using your phone on YouTube. Then come back here with your bootable drive and continue on the video here. But if you are using another computer, you can easily create a bootable drive with the three items above. So, how to create a bootable drive with Aaron's boot CD? First, you have to download Aaron's boot by searching Aaron's boot on your browser. The link is also provided in the description box below. The file size is about 2.8 gigabytes. After you download Aaron's, you download Rufus. Just search Rufus on your browser and download it. I will also link it in the description box below. It's a small file. When you finish downloading Rufus, you install it. Now that you have those two, you insert your flash drive to the same computer you used to download the files. Open Rufus, then select the USB drive. I already installed Aaron's on this drive, that's why the name is HPCD. Under the boot selection, I'm going to choose Aaron's boot that I downloaded. Then I'm just going to click on the start button. It will then warn me that I'm going to lose the data on the drive because it will erase everything before it can turn it into a bootable drive. Just click OK to continue. It will take few minutes to complete. When it completes, you are now having a bootable USB with air and boot. Now it's time to change the boot sequence of your computer that you forgot the password to. In order to get there, we need to get into the BIOS screen. If the computer is on, restart it. If it is off, turn it on. So as soon as it starts booting, on the black screen, you keep pressing the F10 key or F8 key on your keyboard. Note that different computer manufacturers set different BIOS key into their computers. It could be F2, F12, F1, or the delete key button. But make sure you look it up your computer brand and model before you do this. You can also try these different function keys to see if the BIOS screen shows up. But they're usually use F8 or F10. 
Each model has their own BIOS functions. In my case, it is F10 key. So I'm going to keep pressing it until the blue window shows up. Yours might look a little different than mine. But we are looking for the same thing, which is to change the boot sequence. Use the arrow key to look around and see if you can find it. Press Enter to select it. Make sure you change the boot sequence so that the USB option comes first. Then save the exit the button. Then save and exit the blue screen. It will automatically restart the computer. But since we changed the boot sequence, it will now boot from the USB. So don't disconnect the USB. Since your computer now boot or restart from your USB, you will have a different screen than your original operating system, such as Windows 10 or Windows 7 or 11. Now, your computer will boot up using Aaron's boot CD. You are now looking at Aaron's boot operating system. So in order to change your password or username, you first have to go down to the start button. Go to all programs, security folder, Passwords and then anti password edit. Now click open, continue, and right here choose the username or the account that you want to change the password to or to unlock. So click on that username and click unlock, or you can also change the password of it. I'm gonna just click the administrator username. Or the account and then I'm gonna unlock it and then change the password of it but I'm not gonna input any password I'm just gonna leave it blank and then I'm gonna click on the save changes button and exit now I'm just gonna shut down the computer and remove the flash drive after I remove the flash drive I will restart the computer again, but this time, since I removed the flash drive, it will select the second option on the boot sequence. So it will select the hard drive or the internal hard drive inside the computer. In other words, the original boot, the original boot operating system. Since I changed the administrator's account password, it is now added into the list of user accounts that I have in this computer. I didn't assign a password for this account, so if I click on it, it wouldn't ask for a password. It will automatically log into this administrator's new account. I can also use this account to change other user accounts by going to control panel and then user accounts. So there you have it. Thank you for watching the video and I hope I help you out and please don't forget to subscribe. Bye.